progress comes to a world of magic as science and the arcane combine to make marvels. Meet steampunk inventors and orc mystics at the Volsung Hub on beastsofwar.com. In a world controlled by massive corporations, a steady aim and split-second decisions are needed for your Megacon to complete its goals. Begin your missions at the Mercs Hub on beastsofwar.com. Hey guys, welcome to another airbrush tutorial with myself and Brian. Uh, we're going to be again looking at some more of your stencil sets. Yep. Um, so what stencil are we going to be using for this one? Uh, this one, um, we, again we're doing a smaller version of one we're already doing. This is the Micro Dragon Scales, as you can see, very very small mm -hmm. detail. Uh, we're going to be doing it on this jet bike. Alright, so and what colours are we going to pick? We'll go for purple this time. Yeah, so sort of nice deep. Yeah, so we've light. got um, hexed uh, and I've had a bit of uh, alien purple mm -hmm. as well. So those are in there at the moment. So at this point, we're going to go in and do our sort of base color and our yep. base highlights. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to leave it to you to take over from here. <laughs> Same sort of idea as we've done in the other videos. We're going to build up the colors. It's gone quite light, so we won't do a light stage for that one. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to leave that to dry and then varnish that one later. This other one I'm going to do a bit differently. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the sensing straight away and we'll do the colours on top later. Okay. And what sort of effect will this give them? Uh, it's just a different way of doing it. Um, you know, just to show you the other way. Mm -hmm. A good pattern there. Yeah. To the other side. One thing when you're using the stencils, you want to make sure you spray in from the same side. Mm -hmm. If you flip it over, you'll end up rubbing the paint off of what the side you've used onto the yep. model. So it looks a bit looks a bit uh, plain at the moment, but mm -hmm. we're going to sort that out with the later stages. Yeah. So. So I'm going to come back in with a darker purple now. It's going to be a bit more subtle than the others. Yeah. So doing it this way, uh, you've heard of pre-shading maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is almost pre-highlighting, so we're doing this the other way around. Mm -hmm. even at the moment yeah uh, and then you pick which end you want to do a fade for, from if you want to mm -hmm. so I'm going to have the front darker so the scales are what's disappearing now mm -hmm. I'm going to colour in this dark section this section on the top there yeah uh, I think we'll pick out the front a bit with our lighter purple that we had earlier mm -hmm. Go. A bit more subtle version. Yeah. You can still see the scales, but they're not quite as bright as the other time. Mm -hmm. So you then come back in with uh, detailing brushwork, picking out the gems and stuff, and maybe some edge highlights. And it just, it, you have all the, the higher stuff to draw your eye to, and then you just notice the scales. Yeah. And you go, ah, that's amazing, man. Yeah. yeah. So, so they don't have to be really in your face like the other way of doing it. Yeah. This is a bit more subtle with the uh, doing the stencil first. Mm -hmm. So we're going to come back after we've varnished. The other one, and yep. then we'll do the stenciling on that. Yeah. So we'll stop now, and then we'll come back at the second part of the video and do the stenciling on the other one. Okay, cool. It's time for 28 millimeter World War II action. 
Will you recreate history or reshape it your way? On the Bolt Action Hub at beastofwar.com. From Viking halls to the cities of the future, terrain buffs will love our foreground hub. Watch gaming tables of all genres come to life at beastofwar.com. So welcome back to part two of this with our two little purple jet bikes. Um, what are we doing at this stage now? Uh, we're going to put some scales with the stencil onto the other one. Mm -hmm. um, while we have this one here finished, uh, I just wanted to, well, part finished. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to point out, as uh, we forgot to mention it earlier, that in other videos we had been using a transparent paint over the top of the stencils, which is what we're going to do in a minute. Mm -hmm. But for this one it was actually a, a paint, so a normal paint that we thinned down quite a bit, mm -hmm. which is why it's toned down the scales quite a lot. Anyway, so we'll go on to the, uh, the other one. We're going to put the uh, the micro dragon scales on. So in there at the moment we've got wolf grey, yep. and it's uh, rather than using pure white, this is a little bit of a bluey sort of white. Yeah. So we're going to use that to help tint it to the right colour mm -hmm. already, and then we'll be coming on with uh, violet ink. We'll try and keep it even if we can. Yep. So I decided to go for almost three lines of stencils mm -hmm. rather than one big patch. And we'll do the little wing parts as well. So there we go. That's, uh, that'll do for the first stage. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to come on with the purple ink. Next, I want to try and keep this purple rather than a blue purple yep. like we've done in some of the other videos. This is just pure purple ink, which I'll uh, build up uh, at the back and fade out to the front. So it'll look like it's two colours just because the purple is very strong. You can get a very dark purple out of it. Yeah. So we'll just show you that now. It's a very light dusting over the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Helps get rid of the white, but it's still purple, or well, still light purple. There we go. That is pretty damn cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the other one, and that's the previous one. So as you can see, it's a bit more subtle yeah. when you do the scales first. And if you do it at the end like that, although I could very easily keep layering on the purple ink on this one, yeah, and it would end up looking like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just different ways of doing it, but it looks fantastic anyway. I mean, both both approaches and both techniques have uh, definitely have their own individual look to them, which is exactly yeah. what you're looking for. Um, so I believe that's it. Yeah, for this one, that's it. I'm mm -hmm. obviously you'd come back in and do the detail stuff, um, but for the airbrushing work, that's done. Yeah. So. Once again, head on over to Anarchy Models and check out uh, Brian's stencil sets. There's many different types, Wave 2 as well. I believe is the, the scales are Wave 2. Uh, yeah, the Micro Dragon Scales, which is this one, is Wave 2, mm -hmm. um, which uh, uh, will be coming out soon. Awesome. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Once again, put your comments down below, and we'll see you again soon. Cheers, guys. Fight for the Iron Kingdoms as a Warcaster. Take control of the mighty jacks, arcane devices, and dark sorceries to bring the fight to the War Machine Hub on beastofwar.com. Keep your blaster handy, the West is a dangerous place. Fight to survive as men turn to monsters and the dead rise on the Wild West Exodus Hub at beastofwar.com.